Hello all, this is Aditi Gupta from uh, Victoria University, Australia and today I am here with my colleague Deepak Kumar Rai and we are going to discuss about predictive analytics with some of the data mining, manipulation and the visualization techniques so far. So, we are going to cover in this session about the COVID analysis part and in this session we are going to cover the worldwide COVID data and the Indian COVID data as well. So we are going to cover the past analysis, what are the present scenarios nowadays and what will be the future uh, predictions. So uh, we are going to cover the manipulation, visualization and the prediction techniques as far as this whole COVID-19 data is concerned. So uh, today this analysis will perform with the help of our software there are many uh, packages available in the R. So for data manipulation, I'm going to cover DPLYR package. And for the visualization purpose, I'm going to cover ggplot and the plotly package for the same. And for the data prediction part, we are going to cover car and the R part package for the same. So we are going to predict the data with the help of the decision trees, as well as we are going to predict data with the help of the logical regression as well. Okay, so in the worldwide COVID cases, as far as this whole uh, COVID-19 is concerned, we have a lot of data as available nowadays. So we are going to cover the data which is from 24-2020 to 15-7-2020. Okay, so basically we are going to cover the data of COVID-2020. Fine, so in this particular data set, we have total records which is 28,420 and we are covering the 216 countries from whole, uh, all over the world and we are covering the six WHO regions and in this particular data set, we have the total cases as 13150645 till now from 24 to 2020 to 15 7 2020 and the total deaths till now is 5 lakh and 74 thousand so far okay so the who regions are mro euro afro mro wpro cro and other so we are going to uh, you know uh, we have this total cases with the help of some function which is available in the R studio and we have the death one of the column in the worldwide data set so total number of deaths is also manipulated by the sum function which is available in the R studio which is 754464 okay so not only the covid 19 worldwide data will also cover the covid 19 india cases as well so we have the uh, columns like date, month and year, what is the time, what is the territory or the state as uh, so far as the uh, data of India is concerned as far as this COVID 2020 from the uh, second month of 2022 till now. And now what are the deaths and what are the confirmed cases in India. So we are going to analyze this as well. So uh, this data is also comes from the 24 to 2020 to 15, 7 and the total records in that particular data of uh, COVID-19 India is 4,143. And in this data, we are going to cover all states which is available in the India and plus the union territories as well. Okay. So let's start with the data manipulation uh, or the visualization part so as far as the data visualization of this covid 19 worldwide data is concerned we have all the countries here in the x axis and we have all the countries or we can say the respective cases in the y axis so as far as you can see the maximum cases so far has the united states of america and the second most top country which have the maximum cases now is Brazil and then we have India is the third top most countries in the 2020 nowadays have the maximum and the highest number of cases till now and then the fourth number of our country which have the highest number of new cases is the Russian Federation okay and some of the countries have the equal number of cases nowadays like uh, we can say uh, at Italy have uh, Italy, Mexico and the country which is Peru and uh, the South Africa, United Kingdom have uh, the same number of cases as far as this country and the new cases is concerned. In the COVID 2020, we are covering the data of 2020. So the maximum cases covered and are designed in the United States of America. 
as we have the 216 countries so it's difficult to analyze the data from all of these countries individually so we are going to cover all the analyzed data with the help of who regions as well so mro american regions so american regional officers have the highest number of cases till now and this mro who region includes the various countries like usa mexico colombia canada brazil etc so these all are the countries covered in the ambro who region and then we have a euro euro is the top most or we can say second top most uh, who regions filed the maximum number of new cases in the 2020 so euro includes the countries like germany italy uh, spain france netherlands so these all our countries are included in euro and then we have cro so this stands for south east asia region and it includes the countries like india bhutan nepal and all so this is the third top most who region files the maximum number of cases till now in the 2020 so as far as the uh, deaths are concerned in all over the country if we compare the worldwide data deaths are concerned in the 2020 so we have maximum deaths in the united states of america which comes under the ambro who region okay and then we have second top most country which have the maximum deaths is brazil and which also comes under ambro that's why the maximum deaths and the maximum new cases have the uh, you know as far as this visualization is concerned we have ambro have the maximum cases okay that's why the maximum number of deaths are also in the ambro as well which is united states of america and the uh, brazil and then we have the maximum number of deaths in united kingdom and then we have the mexico uh, in the mexico we have maximum number of deaths and it also comes under the ambro region and we can say the italy have the maximum number of deaths as well so the uh, united kingdom united um, uh, united states of america or uh, we can say the brazil italy mexico have the maximum number of deaths till now okay so as far as the deaths are compared with the help of months so in the month 4 we have the maximum number of deaths assigned which is in april 2020 so in the april 2020 we have a maximum number of deaths worldwide in the uh, covid uh, 20 data and then we have in the month 5th we have the less number of deaths as compared to the april 4 and then we have the maximum uh, we have a minimum number of deaths in the third month as well so we can analyze okay in the fourth month we have a maximum number of deaths worldwide nor in the third or neither in the fourth or fifth we can say so in the fourth month we have a maximum number of deaths till now and if we compare the data of uh, india so in the india we have the total number of deaths we have the maximum number of deaths in maharashtra Maharashtra is a state of India which includes the maximum big cities like Mumbai, Pune, Nagpur, Thane. All of the big cities comes under Maharashtra. That's why in India, Maharashtra suffered a lot because of this current uh, coronavirus uh, pandemic situation. So uh, the maximum number of deaths in the uh, is india as far as the india data is concerned we have a maximum number of deaths in maharashtra so in the maharashtra we have uh, the overall uh, maximum number of uh, coronavirus pandemic attacks or we can say in the delhi delhi is the second highest state which suffers a lot due to this coronavirus situation and then we have uh, gujarat uh, in the gujarat basically the ahmedabad and the surat kind of area suffered a lot because of this coronavirus attacks and in and then the tamil nadu as well so basically the four main states which suffered a lot because of this coronavirus attacks which is uh, we can say maharashtra second is we can say delhi and then uh, gujarat and then tamil nadu these are four main states which suffered a lot because of this coronavirus attacks in india so if we talk about the cure percentage so uh, in the maharashtra as well the cure percentage is very high as far as the deaths are also concerned because the maximum cases nowadays in india is from the maharashtra so the cure percentage as well as the death percentage is maximum in the maharashtra and we can say the cure percentage is the tamil nadu is also good as we can analyze and in the delhi or we can say gujarat have the cure percentage is also good so as far as we can analyze the india data so far 
so we can analyze that okay we have the maximum cases third most maximum cases in the 2020 in india but we have the good cure percentage as well in india so if we have the maximum cases like increased from the 10 lakh but we have the cure percentage is also good okay so the death converting ratio is only the 0.2 to 0.5 percent in india only okay so as far as the cure and the deaths are concerned, the main four cities which suffer a lot from this coronavirus pandemic attack, which is the Maharashtra, Delhi, and uh, Gujarat, and Tamil Nadu, are the cities which suffers a lot because of this coronavirus attack in India. So, as far as the, uh, we can say, the WHO regions are concerned, maximum, uh, so in this we have all the six WHO regions and as far as we can analyze so far in the month four we have the maximum number of cases registered by these all WHO regions these all six WHO regions okay so let's predict something guys and these all data visualization is uh, done is have done by the help of our software as well okay so so for this uh, visualization we have uh, used the plot leaf package which is available in the R studio and we have plotly we have ggplot and many of the packages which is available in the R studio for the graphical visualization purpose as well okay so we have used these all packages so far by the help of for this data visualization as far as this is concerned covid 2020 data is concerned now let's predict something let's predict like in the upcoming uh, we can say months what will be the scenario so far and what will be the number of cases and what will be the number of deaths and what is the you know what is the frequency between these deaths and the cases as well okay if the case if the cases are increases is the deaths will all go in, uh, is the death will also increase or if the death is uh, decreasing then the cases will also decrease so we have to predict this data uh, predict this thing with the help of the past and the future scenario as well okay so as far as the worldwide data is concerned the correlativity that means the correlation uh, or we can say the dependency between the new cases and the new deaths is 0 0.7 okay so if we have the new deaths is increasing simultaneously the cases will also increase and if the cases are increasing simultaneously in all over the world then the deaths are also increase all over the world simultaneously with the, uh, with the help of increasing in cases as far as this COVID 2020 data is concerned so in this scenario we have all these we have the this is the regression line we can say and all these data comes under the deaths and the cases and we can see these all some of the dots or we can say some of the data is so near to the line that means we are going good with the prediction fine but here if we if you can analyze so far some of the deaths are so or we can say some of the dots are so far from the regression line that means these are comes under the exception cases okay so the one of the exception case is in the 2020 we have 26,000 number of new cases but we have 5,000 number of deaths so this is an exception case because mostly the deaths are not uh, as far as uh, not have a big number as the 5,000 uh, because of the new cases is only 26,000 but the death uh, ratio is approximately so big as far as this whole uh, some of the part is concerned in this regression line. So we have one more uh, exception case which is 28,000 new cases is registered in which the 6 1409 deaths cases are registered in this pandemic COVID-19 or we can say the 2020 data is concerned okay so these are the two exception cases so far in this uh, pandemic uh, coronavirus 2020 data is concerned and we have one uh, more exception case which is this we have one two six zero deaths but in this case you have uh, you you know uh, you have to analyze one thing if the if the dots are so near to the regression line that means we are going good as far as this prediction is concerned fine as far as the dependency of in both of them is good if the dots are so near to the regression line so in the new deaths we have 104 as far as the 6539 cases are concerned the death ratio is 104 and in this the death ratio is 909 in this the death ratio is 3 only and in this the death ratio is 13 and the death ratio is so you know less as far as the cases is concerned but in some of the uh, you know exception cases are there which have this death ratio is so much high as far as the new cases are concerned
okay so the prediction says that we have if we have the in the prediction if we have the new cases like comes over 77000 then the death ratio will be 5000 okay so if the cases per day or we can say the per month if the cases extended towards the 77000 then there must be probability or this is the prediction decision of the r studio that there must be the death ratio will be 500 5006 okay so as far as this death ratio or we can say the cases will increase the death ratio will also increase fine so if the cases uh, you know uh, is extended towards the 84000 then the death cases will be 5445 that's how prediction works in our studio and as far as this COVID 2020 data is concerned so uh, how what we can analyze so far we have analyzed that the prediction says that if the cases will not stop now or if the cases will gradually increase of this pandemic 2020 coronavirus data so there must be a very high probability that the death ratio will also increase with the help of this cases as well okay so if we talk about the India data is concerned and then we have compared cured and the deaths so the correlativity the cured and the deaths is we can say somewhat similar because most of the candidates are cured and the deaths our ratio is very less in the India as far as the India data is concerned of this COVID 2020 so the correlativity between both of them is good and we have the if the cured percentage is 60,000 and the death percentage is so less in India okay and the prediction but the prediction says that if the cases are get uh, if the crisis will gradually increases then the cured percentage or we can say the death ratio will also increase so with the help of this prediction by the help of this past record and by the help of this present scenario the prediction which we can uh, analyze so far is if this situation will not stop now then we can say uh, we have to face many issues in the further situation so far because if the prediction says that if the cases gradually increase the number of deaths will also increase simultaneously okay so we need to do something and we need to be safe we need to be secure and we need to take care of our, of our friends and family okay